So, they finally did it. They gave us Sonic the Hedgehog, the movie. The infamous movie that started with a really terrible trailer that featured Gangster's Paradise, because what else do you think of when you think of Sonic the Hedgehog? And a terrible design of a character. But, they delayed the movie, they redid the character... And they showed us some new scenes from the trailers in the hopes to salvage the mess that they had unveiled. And the movie is now available to watch. I didn't really expect much of this movie, to be honest. The only reason I went to see is because I saw I was actually getting some positive press, which surprised me a little bit because I figured it would have been a dead ringer to be a bad movie. But... Was it a bad movie? Let's talk about that, because whenever I saw that Jim Carrey was playing as Dr. Robotnik, I was thinking, well, at least he'll be good in it, because I like Jim Carrey a lot, and he seemed to have his niche ironed out with Dr. Robotnik. Totally a Jim Carrey character in the way that he played him, obviously, because obviously, you know, he's not a Jim Carrey character, but I knew that part would at least be good. I wasn't too sure about James Marsden, the way his character was. It seemed like it was just comedic relief being forced in, playing along with Sonic. But I was surprised by this movie, I will admit that. When it comes to video game movies, usually they're about this tier when they're good. You know, obviously the best movies are going to be up in this range. It was about this tier usually for a good video game movie. You know... Meaning that even the best video game movies that we've had are at best decent affairs. You know, they're not like movies that are going to be timeless classics or anything like that. You know, there will be fans, of course. There will be people that will defend video game movies of various sorts. You know, I know some people like certain movies, of course, like Rampage, for example. Although the source material is so basic on that that they were able to do pretty much whatever they wanted. They had creative freedom with that. So that kind of helped them actually make a good movie out of that. Um, and then, of course, like we had the new Tomb Raider with Alicia Vikander playing as Laura Croft. That had a lot of source material from the 2013 game that it handled pretty well. And there's been some other good ones, of course, like the first Silent Hill movie. But for the most part, video game movies aren't very good. You know, we might enjoy them. We might enjoy the themes that they present and the way they present them and things like that. But in terms of actual movies in general, they're kind of weak, you know, for the most part. So I kind of expected this to be the same way, you know. I didn't even think it was going to be as good as Detective Pikachu, which I thought was pretty good, you know, for, for what it was. You know, I'm not a Pokemon guy by any stretch of the imagination, but... I thought it was a good movie, you know, overall, and was probably one of my favorite video game movies because of that. So I had pretty low expectations going into this movie. I want you to be aware of that. And I was blown away by this movie. It's actually really good. Um, obviously, Jim Carrey did excellent as Dr. Robotnik, Eggman, of course, and he pulled that off very well, but I didn't expect that the duo of James Marsden and then, of course, Sonic being voiced by Ben Schwartz to be the real star of the show. I thought that it was going to be a lot of really forced jokes and things like that, you know, but there really wasn't a dull moment with that. Everything was timed very well. This movie knew exactly what it wanted to be, and it nailed it in execution, in my opinion. I really enjoyed the dynamics that they had, but also amongst the supporting cast as well, such as James's wife in the movie and his sister-in-law. <laughs> um, but yeah, there was some really good times. You know, there was like a really cool bar scene, which may not be very appropriate for kids, but it was done in a way that it, it worked. It worked as a family film. There wasn't anything crazy, no crazy violence, no blood, no cursing, nothing like that. It's definitely a family-friendly film, so if you want to take your kids or whatever, 
have at it. You know, it's going to be fine. They're not going to be too warped by it. Uh, <laughs> but uh, my fears of this movie was that it was only going to appeal to old school Sonic the Hedgehog fans. And even then, it would have been pretty split on who enjoyed it versus who didn't. You know, after all, we have a huge backlash in the Sonic community over which Sonic voice actor is the best. And, you know, whether Sonic Adventure is good or not. And all kinds of other crazy nonsense. Even people that defend Sonic 06. You know, it's just a really crazy and tumultuous community in general. A lot of people, of course, only like the 2D Sonic games. And, you know, like I said, good video game movies are usually up here. This is more in this range here. It's definitely not just a good video game movie, but it's just a good movie in general. And part of that is because it uses the source material very well, obviously. A lot of good references for the video game fans. But it doesn't rely on them. It doesn't bash you in the head with them at the same time. If you're not a Sonic fan at all, you can still enjoy this movie, potentially, because there's just good writing, there's good comedy, uh, there's very good action sequences, uh, the CG is actually pretty good, which was something I was concerned about, given what we saw with the initial character design and whatnot. And just a very solid movie altogether. There was no filler it wasn't too long or too short. It was actually on the shorter side. It was only about an hour and a half. But that's fine because you don't need to make these long epic movies that just waste the viewer's time. It knew exactly what it wanted to be in a movie and it executed it very well. Now, could it have been better? Yes, of course, you know. But given the huge step from here to here for video game movie landscape, we legit have our first actual good movie based on a video game rather than just a good video game movie those are two different things because like i said you know there is that problem with video game movies just getting it wrong a lot of the time you know they might be faithful to the source material in some ways and things like that but for general moviegoers they're usually not that great to watch but sonic was a fun time um fun to watch if you're a 30-something like me that grew up with those games, or if you're just a youngin' that maybe your first Sonic game was like Sonic Forces or something like that. Um, it's good times, guys. It really is. And it blew my expectations away, you know. And that's a really good thing. It's really good to see that they were able to pull off the first actually good video game-based movie. In my opinion, at least. So let me know what you guys think if you've seen it. And uh, till then, Dow Phoenix out.